We're starting with exercise 7.1. Welcome to Prism Science Academy classes. And uh, question number one says that we have to find the entire derivative or the integral of the following functions by the method of inspection. So that means this is our derivative. And we know that derivative is dy by dx that's equal to sine 2x. And now if we separate the variables that is just leave the y the differential element y and the variables x and the differential element x on the uh, dx on the other side now integrate it on both sides let's integrate on both sides that means we will try to find the primitive on both sides we get so this should be integration of dy so it's one here <laughs> and integration of sine 2x into dx we have to find the primitive so we know that you know, the differentiation of y with respect to y is one that is differentiation of x with respect to x is one so its primitive is x so the primitive of one should be y that is integration of 1 into dy and integration of sine 2x sine is the differentiation of which function we know that sine is the differentiation of what negative cos x this gives us sine x so integration of sine x is negative cos 2x and it has to be 2x so it's we will in this case we will divide the differentiation of this because it's not x it's 2x so its differentiation is 2 so we will divide it by so that means the <laughs> if we integrate if we differentiate minus cos 2x by 2 that will give us sine 2x so this is our integration for sine 2x and we will just add a constant here okay to understand this let's differentiate minus cos of 2x by 2 so differentiation of minus cos 2x is it's negative so negative is out cos is sine 2x and with 2x it's 2 so it's cos 2x by 2 so it's half out so it gets cancelled it's minus sine 2x and <clears throat> So this is our, this is the entire derivative of this function. That is our function is y is equal to minus cos 2x by 2 plus c. And if you differentiate this, you will get this sine 2x. This solves our question number one. Thank you for watching. So for question number two, we have to find the entire derivative. So that means we are given the derivative. So derivative is dy by dx. It's given that it's cos 3x. Let's separate the variables. So dy is equal to cos 3x into dx. And because we have to find the entire derivative of the integral, so we will just put the uh, the integral sign here so it is integration of we will start the process of integration because we have to find the entire derivative so it's one and it's cos 3x so one into dy that gives us the function y and cos 3x cos 3x is it's sine 3x and the 3x the differentiation of 3x is 3 so it has to be divided by 3 plus c that's our entire derivative for cos 3x thank you for watching and we have to find the entire derivative of this question number 3 so that means 
we are given with the derivative and it's dy by dx is equal to e raised power 2x and let's separate the variables so it's e raised power 2x into dx and because we have to find the entire derivative so let's start the process of integration and 1 into dy gives us the function y integration of e raised power 2x is e raised power x is e raised power x and in differentiation we used to multiply with the differentiation that is a chain rule in this case we will do exactly the opposite that is we will divide with the differentiation of 2x that is 2 and we will put a constant here so this is the entire derivative of e raised power 2x thank you for watching okay so for question number four we have to find the entire derivative so of this so that means it's the derivative that's given so dy by dx is the derivative that is ax plus b the whole square let's separate the variables that is ax plus b the whole square into differentiation and because we have to find the entire derivative so we'll have to reverse the process and reverse the process is integration so it's integration of ax plus b the whole square into dx and integral of 1 into dy is the function y ax plus b the whole square so that is integration of x raised power n which is x raised power n plus n n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so this gives us ax plus b raised power n plus 1 n is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 3 and because this is not the function this is ax plus b so we will have to divide this our answer with its differentiation and differentiation of ax plus b is a so we will divide it by a and put a constant here so this is our answer for question number four ax plus b the whole cube upon 3a plus c thank you for watching Right, for question number five, five, we have to find the entire derivative. And that, so that means that this is our derivative. The derivative is given. It's dy by dx is equal to sine 2x minus 4 into e raised power 3x. And let's separate the variables. So this should be equal to dy should be equal to sine 2x minus 4 into e raised power 3x and the dx goes to the right hand side because we have to find the, the entire derivative of the integral so let's in reverse the process and reverse the process says we have to find the integration so integration of one gives us y and here we can use the property that is we can separate it's the integrations of the these two functions and so this is how it looks and this is y so integration of sine 2x is negative cos 2x divided by 2 minus 4 is out integration of e raised power 3x is e raised power 3x divided by 3 plus c so this is our answer this is for question number 5 so this is the entire derivative of this function do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number six, we have to find the integrals. So let's say our integral is i and this is 4 into e raised power 3x plus 1 into dx, which can be separated into two different integrals. That is 4 into e raised power 3x into dx plus integration of 1 into dx 4 is constant it's out so it's integration of 3x into dx plus integration of 1 into dx is x and it's 4 so integration of e raised power x is e raised power x so it's e raised power 3x and 
you have to divide it by the differentiation of 3x, that is 3 plus x, and we have to add a constant. So this is our answer for question number 6. 4 by 3 into e raised to the 3x plus x plus c. So this is also question number 6. Thank you for watching. Okay, so for question number seven, we have to find the integral. And let's say this is our integral x squared into one minus one by x squared into dx. Let's open the bracket. So it's x squared minus one into dx, which can be separated into two different integrals, x squared into dx minus one into dx. And this is integration of x raised power n which is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and if you use this formula it is 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 minus integration of 1 is x plus c and this is our answer for question number 7 x cubed by 3 minus x plus c thank you for watching All right, so for question number eight, we have to find the integral. And let's say this is our integral, that is ax squared plus bx plus c into dx. And let's separate the integrals. It is ax squared into dx plus integration of bx into dx plus integration of c into dx. Now a is constant, so integration of its x squared into dx, b is constant, integration of x into dx, c is constant, integration of 1 into dx. And this gives us a integration of x squared. This is x raised power n into dx, which is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. And it becomes x cubed by 3b. It becomes x squared by two same formula plus c integration of one is x and we will add a constant c here. And this is now a x cubed by three plus b x squared by two plus c into x plus constant. And this is the answer for question number eight. Thank you for watching. All right, for question number nine, we have to find the integral. And let's see our integral is i, that is integration of 2x squared plus e raised power x into dx. And let's separate the integrals. So it's two is constant, so it's out, and it's integration of x squared into dx. Integration of e raised power x is e raised power x and integration of x squared it will be it's of the form x raised power n into dx which is x into n plus one upon n plus one and this will be x cubed by three plus e raised power x with the constant and now this can be written as two by three x cubed plus e raised power x plus c and this is our answer for question number nine. Thank you for watching. Next question is question number 10. And we have to find the integral. So let i is equal to integration of root x minus one by root x the whole square it's an identity a minus b the whole square so let's expand that so it's a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b and root x the whole square is x 1 by root x the whole square is again 1 by x this gets cancelled it's 2 into dx and we have to find the integration and integration of x let's separate the integrals integration of 1 by x into dx 
minus integration of 2 into dx integration of x is x square by 2 I have to use the formula that is integration of x raised power n into dx is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 which gives us this result 1 by x is integration of log x 2 is out integration of 1 into dx is x and our answer is x square by 2 plus log x minus 2x plus c so this is our integral and this also question number 10 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching okay so moving on to question number 11 sorry and we have to find the integral let i with the integral of this and it's x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4 on x squared into dx. Try to simplify this. It's 5x squared on x squared minus 4 upon x squared into dx. And this gets cancelled. It x, it gets cancelled. So we have to do the integration of its x into dx. Let's separate the integrals. It's 5 into dx minus 4 into x raised power minus 2 into dx. And integration of x is x squared by 2. 5 is out. We are left with 1 into dx. It's 4. And integration of x raised power minus 2 into dx. So this is x, x squared by 2, 5 integration of 1 is x minus 4 into integration of x. This is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. Finally, our integral is x squared by 2 plus 5x minus 4 into x raised power minus 1 upon 1 minus 1 which gives us i is equal to x squared plus 2 plus 5x plus 4 upon x plus c and that is the answer for question number 11 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching moving on to question number 12 we have to find the integral of x cube this is x cubed, x cubed plus 3x plus 4 upon root x into dx. And this root x uh, can be written as x raised power half. And let's try to simplify it first. It's x cubed upon x raised power half plus 3x upon x raised power half plus 4 upon x raised power half into dx. Okay, which gives, this is 3 minus half, which gives us 5 by 2. And this is x raised power 5 by 2 into dx plus, this is 1, 1 minus half is half, so 3 into x raised power half into dx. This can be written as 4 into x raised power minus half into dx. And if you use the formula x raised power n, integration of x raised power n is equal to x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. For this, it's x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 3 into x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1, 3 is out as it's constant, 4 is out, differentiation integration of, this is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1, we are all done, so it's constant. Okay, it's 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2, 7 by 2 plus 3 into x raised power 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 4 into x raised power half, 
upon a plus c and this can be written as 2 by 7 x raised power 7 by 2 so this is now 3 into 3 3 into 2 by 3 is 3 and 3 gets cancelled so it's 2 into x raised power 3 by 2 plus this is 4 into 2 is 8 raised power x by 2 plus c this is our integral for question number 12. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Nice for so question number 13. We have to find the integral. The integral is i plus x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1 upon x minus 1 into dx. And it has to be simplified first. For these two terms, common is x squared. So it's x minus 1 plus 1 into x minus 1. It's x minus 1 into dx. And now it can be written as x minus 1 into x squared. 1 upon x minus 1 into dx. This gets cancelled. And finally, it's x squared plus 1 into dx, which is integration of x squared into dx plus 1 into dx. And integration of x squared is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1, which is x cubed by 3 plus integration of 1 is x plus c. This is our answer for question number 13. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes. And we are on to question number 14 of exercise 7.1. And we have to find the integral. Let's say this is our integral i. And this is 1 minus x. So root x can be written as x raised power half. And let's open the bracket. So this is now x raised power half minus. So x into x raised power half. Add the powers. So this should be x raised power 3 by 2. Now let's separate the integrals. It's x raised power half into dx minus x raised power 3 by 2 into dx. Okay. We are going to use the formula. So formula for this one is x raised power n into dx, which is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So n is half. It should be x raised power half plus 1 upon half plus 1 minus. It's n is 3 by 2, so x raised power 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 3 by 2 plus 1 and add the integral constant c <coughs> x half plus 1 is 3 by 2 it's 3 by 2 minus x raised power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 5 by 2 which gives our final answer as 2 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 minus 2 by 5 into x raised power 5 by 2 plus c so this is also our question number 14. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right, so for question number 15, we have to find the integral. So let's say our integral is i is equal to integration of this root x. Root x can be written as x raised power r into 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 differential element is dx opening of the bracket gives us so x raised power half into 3x squared is 3 x raised power half plus 2 is 5 by 2 plus 2 into x raised power half plus 1 adding the power gives us 3 by 2 plus it's 3 into x raised power half into dx.
okay which gives us let's separate the integrals so this is 3 x raised power 5 by 2 into dx plus 2 into x raised power 3 by 2 into dx plus 3 into x raised power half into dx constant is out so it's 3 into x raised power 5 by 2 into dx 2 into x raised power 3 by 2 into dx plus 3 into x raised power half into dx okay now for all of these we are going to use the formula the formula is x raised power n integration of x raised power n into dx is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 <coughs> So this is now 3 into x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 2 into x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 3 into x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and don't forget to add the integral constant so this is 3 into x raised power 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 it's 7 by 2 plus 2 into x raised power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 upon 5 by 2 plus 3 into x raised power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus 3. And, <clears throat> and this is now 6 raised power 7 into x raised power 7 by 2 plus this goes up and it is now 4 by 5 into x raised power 5 by 2 plus 3 and 3 gets cancelled so this is 2 into x raised power 3 by 2 plus c and this is our required integral and this solves our question number 15 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching So for question number 16, we have to find the integral and let's say our integral is i and let's separate these integrals. It should be 2x into dx minus integration of 3 cos x into dx plus integration of e raised power x into dx and now this 2 is constant so it's out the integration of x into dx 3 is constant it's out integration of cos x into dx and integration of e raised power x is e raised power x so let's put the value now integration of x is we are going to use the formula x raised power n into dx which is equal to x raised power n upon n plus 1 so integration of x is n is 1 so it's 1 plus 1 is 2 upon 2 minus 3 integration of cos is sin x plus e raised power x and don't forget to add the integral constant and our final answer is x square minus 3 sin x plus e raised power x plus c so this is the answer for question number 16 moving on to question number 17 thank you for watching For question number 17 we have to find the integral and let's say this is our integral i and that we are going to separate all these integrals so this is 2x square into dx minus integration of 3 sin x into dx plus integration of 5 into root x into dx and our next step is to take out all the constants and just leave the function inside so 2 into x square into dx minus 3 integration of sin x into dx plus 5 into root x. Root x can be written as x raised power half. Okay, and for this we are going to use the formula x raised power n into dx once again. So this is x raised power n upon n plus 1. That is the integration of x raised power n into dx. And if you use this formula for this, this gives us x raised power n is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 upon 3 minus 3 integration of sin s is negative of cos x plus 5 
And once again, the same formula, it's half plus one is three by two on half plus one is three by two. And don't forget to add the integral constant. So our answer is two by three into x cube negative negative is plus three cos x. And this moves up, so it's 10 by three x raised power three by two plus c. And this is our final answer for question number 17, which is two by three x cubed plus three cos x plus 10 by three x raised power three by two plus c. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, for question number 18, we have to find the integral. So let's say it's i and we're going to open the bracket. So it's secant square x multiplies secant x into tan x, so it's secant x into tan x into dx. And separating these integrals, it's secant square x into dx plus secant x into tan x into dx. Okay, now we know that the integration of secant square x is tan x and integration of secant x into tan x is secant x. So this is done and this is our answer that is tan x plus secant x plus c for question number 18. Thank you for watching. Right, for question number 19, we have to find the integral of secant square x upon cosecant square x and we don't have the, the direct formulas for secant square and cosecant square x. So in this case, let's try to simplify them in terms of sine and cos. And we know that secant square x is one upon cos square x and cosecant square x can be written as one upon sine square x. So this is now in terms of sine and cos and this moves up. So this is sine square x upon cos square x into dx and sine upon cos we all know it's tan square x into dx and tan square x we know the identity it's 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x we don't have the direct formula to integrate tan square x so this tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1 so this is secant square x minus 1 into dx and now let's separate these two terms secant square x into dx minus 1 into dx and integration of secant square x is tan x 1 is x plus c and that solves our answer that solves our question number 19 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching Inside academy classes, so I'm here on question number 20 of exercise 7.1. And let's say our integral is 2 minus 3 sine x upon cos square x into dx. Now, this can be written as 2 upon cos square x minus 3 into sine x, and upon cos square x can be written as cos x into cos x which gives us 2 is out and 1 upon cos square x is secant square x 3 is out now sine upon cos this sine upon cos is tan x and 1 upon cos can be written as secant x and now for both these integrals we know their direct formulas secant square x integration of secant square x is tan x minus 3 tan x into secant x is secant x and don't forget to add the integral at the uh, constant at the end so it's 2 tan x minus 3 secant x plus c and this sums up our question number 20 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching
Okay, for question number 21, we have to find the entire derivative of root x plus 1 by root x. So, entire derivative means we have to find the integral of this. And let's say uh, integral of this is i plus 1 by root x. And we are supposed to find this. And for this, let's separate these two terms and this is 1 upon root x and we know that root x can be written as x raised power half as an exponent into dx and this is 1 upon x raised power half as an exponent and for this we can use the formula x raised power n the integration of x raised power n which is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and this gives us half plus 1 upon half plus 1. This, using the law of exponent, it is now x raised power minus half integration. And this is almost done. So it is 3 raised power 3 by x raised power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. And integration of this is once again n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. This moves up. And it is now 2 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 plus minus half plus half is half and it goes up. So this is x and minus half plus half is half plus c. And let's try to match it. So this is 2 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 plus 2 x raised power half. So option c is the correct answer for this. MCQ and this is also question number 21. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. All right, for question number 22, we have to find the f of x when its derivative is given. And you may find it a little bit tricky if you haven't fully understand the concept of integration. So this is what is given to you. And this is the derivative of f of x. And we know that in order to get f of x, we have to reverse the process. And to reverse the process, to get the entire derivative, we use the integral on both sides. So to get f of x, the integration of derivative the integration of derivative of f of x gives us f of x and here so i'm going to integrate it on both sides so integrating in both sides the differentiation this is the derivative of f of x and if you apply the process of integration that gives us the function and this we have to separate the integrals so 4x cube minus it's 3x raised power 4 into dx and this is simple, so it's 4 into x raised integration of x raised power n is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 3. And this is now x raised power minus 4 into differential element is dx, which gives us f of x is 4 into x raised power 4 upon 4 and 4. Can be striked off. Okay, x raised power minus 4. We have to use the integration of x raised power n into dx, which we all know is x raised power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. And for this, it's x raised power n is minus 4 plus 1 upon minus 4 plus 1 plus c. And finally, we have our function, it's x raised power minus 4 minus x raised power minus 3 upon minus 3 plus c which can be written as x raised power 4 minus of minus is plus and it's 1 upon x cube plus c. Now there was one more information that's given in the question. It says that the value of the function at 2 is 0. So let's evaluate this function for 2. So evaluating the function for 2 means just replace the value of x with 2. So it's 2 raised power 4 into 1 upon 2 cube plus c. 
and f of 2 is 0, 2 raised power 4 is 16, 1 by 8 plus c. So it's 0 is equal to 8, it's LCM, it's 8, 6 are 48, 1, 28 plus 1 plus c. And this gives us c as negative 190, 129 by 8. And if we replace this value in this, our first equation that is f of x, it gives us f of x is x raised power 4 plus 1 upon x cubed and c is negative 129 by 8. This is our, this was our function. And if we try to match it, it matches with the option A. So option A is the correct one. Question number 22. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.